I got a call this morning, and when I came here, um, there's a report that um, uh, they saw two individuals. One of them was sending a petrol bomb right on top of the building. Um, but um, the fire, um, the whole building, like you can see now, uh, has been burnt down. And uh, so for now, we haven't got a, a whole of those people. But um, we know it's political motivated, and both floors of my office and the party's office has been burnt down. Who do you think? It's political uh, motivated. I don't know yet who I can say um, did this, but 100% within me knows that it's political motivated and the ruling um, um, party, the ruling government might have a hand on today and support us of the ruling government because this is not the first. A few months ago in Putloko, our district office was um, set ablaze also. The neighbors came out and chased those people. And we have reports over there, the ONS came, they were very much upset about the incident, but the investigation, nothing came out of it. Um, during the by-election in, um, in uh, Makene, Losar, sorry, I remember that I did an interview with you, my car was vandalized, my driver was stabbed, I was physically attacked. I identified two of my attackers. AIG Dabo at the time was there, they were arrested them, they were sent to jail for a few days, and nothing, the matter was not even charged to court as we speak. That was over a year ago. So there's no Nothing going on is the same old, same old, just to intimidate and try to wipe me out of the political scene. But it's not going to happen at all. Where do you think they will target you when there are, uh, call it bigger parties, they have not targeted the leadership of their party headquarters? They've been silenced. The bigger party, the main opposition political party in this country, the SPP has been silenced. And not too long ago, I referred them as a mumu opposition. You can't be mumu mean they're not speaking. For the past years, you can see all every national issue um, in this country has been advocated by me. And um, we've seen 42 members of parliament um, of the opposition party. They've been rumble stamped. Every agenda of this president, uh, they, they toe in line to support it. So absolutely, um, I saw that and, I saw, and I'm like, this democ our democracy is really bleeding. I need to fill this void where in the rule in the opposition, the main opposition is not acting the way they're supposed to. So I came and filled in that void and um, the hard issue that's going on right now, the toll road and I've been all over the media and talking to people and um, describing this government as a, a shipping, uh, as a, a ship sinking like the Titanic, where in when the Titanic was built, the, the builder said, even God cannot sink this ship. So right now, a lot of uh, members of the ruling party will say, even God will not let us lose election. So now they're sinking and we have people in that boat, um, you know, playing music and those are a few of the um, APC folks going out um, right now and telling people some lies. But trust me, come March 2018, the APC um, government is going to sink in this country. And finally, uh, do you feel personally threatened? Absolutely, every day. Um, I got calls yesterday when I came out from um, Morning Coffee, SLBC, uh, Mr. Fufana. I got like four calls. One of them said, you hate and I'll go for cotton at this country. Maybe they'll behead you. Yes, they're going to behead me. Uh, so yes, I feel, I don't even know how I sleep sometimes. Every hour or two I wake up and check my windows and ask if my security is okay. It's just sad, but my life is under threat every day, every minute um, um, of the day. So but you seem really unfazed. You don't seem perturbed at all. Because because I have to, I'm a leader and my supporters have to see me that way. But talking to you, I know for sure my life is in danger every day. I know, I know that very much um, that my life is in danger and I'm on the threat every day. Thank you.